Did you know that at any given second, about 4,000 M-Pesa transactions are happening across Kenya? Sending money, paying bills, topping up tokens, it just works. But behind that seamless experience is an entire ecosystem of infrastructure, innovation, and round-the-clock vigilance. So what does it actually take to keep M-Pesa running? At first, in 2015, we thought that was the 616 TPS was really one that we could not achieve. Rather, it was very high. But today we are now at 4,000 uh, transactions per second. Then what that meant is we had to continuously upgrade our environment. And the biggest bottleneck that we saw then was a database. And the reason for that is because all the transactions are written into the database. The technologies that we had then are not the same ones that we have today. And therefore, we will be upgrading it even further. And from now, a case of just replacing a database, we are moving from a 16-core database to a database that is a 32-core to a 64-core database. Now switching this into a one that we can actually seamlessly upgrade M-Pesa without necessarily having to disconnect everybody from the service. To support this kind of demand, Safaricom has invested in a resilient architecture, one that's designed to not just handle volume, but also scale rapidly and remain highly secure. By next year, uh, around April, we should be having a capacity of 6,000 transactions per second on the system. By end of next year, we should have almost 8,000 as capacity, irrespective of whether customers come in to use or not. Meeting those numbers isn't just about infrastructure. It's also about the day-to-day -day work, analyzing system behavior, forecasting usage patterns, and preventing issues before they occur. We are able to forecast and say, looking at the behavior, then we need to ensure that we have enough capacity. And then there are the day-to-day -day things that we do on the system. Where you log into the system, you check maybe the utilization is unusual. We check maybe uh, there is a partner who is uh, who's sending unusual traffic uh, uh, to the system. We check maybe there is a, a transaction type that is picking more than the usual. And therefore, we're able to provision the different metrics uh, for that. And that's why we've actually been able to create even uh, mechanisms within the system that we're able to protect it. In an event, we have a surge you know, that it's not envisioned that we've seen, yeah, this is the forecast, then we have um, a capability within the system that can allow us to protect the system to process what it is able to deal with, and then anything on top of that uh, then comes in next. Now we are going into a space where we have a lot of uh, new technologies, trends, so we have to change the, the, the core of the, of the system, the foundation of the system, to be AI native in nature, in that we are going to leverage on those AI capabilities to now address things like fraud, and even from a monitoring perspective, we're able to start predicting the trends of uh, the traffic uh, for the next few few days. And so we are partially there, but for sure we are going into that uh, space. At the heart of it all lies the M-Pesa core that powers your balance and every API that connects to it. If that engine falters, everything else stops. That's why system uptime, security, and stability are top priorities. The M-Pesa core is the main engine of M-Pesa. That is the where the wallet is. That's where your balances sit. It's where all the APIs are exposed from. When the wallet is down, there is no M-Pesa. That's why we have to protect it. We have to ensure it's always on, it's always secure, and it's always available for our customers. But keeping M-Pesa running isn't just about transactions, it's also about trust, which is why advanced AI systems work in the background to detect and prevent fraud in real time. From a transaction perspective, just to break it down in a nutshell, we also have a team within uh, our ecosystem that just focuses on fraud detection, where you find a customer, for example, who's doing a transaction that they, they don't usually do. So using AI, then we're able to prevent that transaction because it could be a customer is being defrauded. Of course, these are uh, cases where you have to learn for some time using machine learning. You have to enhance those models, so it takes a bit of time. Uh, but where we are today, I can comfortably mention that uh, the support of our fraud team, we've been able to get somewhere in terms of being able to detect some of those transactions that would have been fraudulent and being able to protect our customers. For millions of Kenyans, M-Pesa is no longer just a mobile wallet. It's a lifestyle through which you can plan for your future. We have over 10 systems that connect to M-Pesa, be it SMSC, USSD Gateway, be it the lending platform, the wealth management platform, the insurance platform, and many others. So the next time you pay for lunch, buy tokens, or send money to a loved one, just remember, what feels like a simple tap is backed by a world of technology, talent, and tireless innovation.